Γεια σας. This is the Greek Reporter Weekly News. Greek Prime Minister George Papandreou commented on European Union's leader approval of a permanent debt crisis mechanism for Euro area countries starting in 2013. Papandreou spoke to reporters in Brussels after the EU summit, which also affirmed March 11's decision to ease the terms of emergency aid that Greece received in return for budget cuts and to bolster the role of the temporary European Financial Stability Facility. He told reporters, The message is that the European Union is committed to support the Eurozone and the Eurozone's countries by any means. This is a very strong commitment. We need time, but we are committed to put Greece in a new path, on a modern path. Greece switched to daylight saving time in the early morning hours on Sunday, March 27th, a measure that will be in effect until the last Sunday of October. At 3 a.m. on Sunday morning, clocks were set one hour forward to read 4 a.m. The switch to summertime entered into effect in all European Union member countries. And now some very interesting news from the USA. President Obama celebrated the 190th anniversary of Greek independence at the White House. Greek government officials and prominent Greek Americans attended the celebration in the East Room on Friday, 25th, 2011. Tonight we reaffirm the bond our two nations have shared for as long as we've existed. Our founding fathers were students of Greek philosophy and Greek history, drawing on Greek principles to guide our own nation in its earliest. And to this day, the United States and Greece share a bond rooted in common values and common ideals. As allies, we stand together, not only for our own security, but for the freedom of peoples around the world. Archbishop Dimitrios of the Greek Orthodox Archdiocese of America, who joined the president on stage, urged Mr. Obama to continue to stand for freedom and democracy. Earlier, President Obama called Greek Prime Minister Joseph Padreou, who was participating in the EU summit, to congratulate him on the Greek independence anniversary and discuss current issues. This year marked the 73rd year that the Greek Independence Day Parade took place on New York's famed Fifth Avenue, starting at 64th and continuing to 79th Street on Sunday, March 27, 2011. This year's parade, the largest Greek parade in the country, was dedicated to the theme Visit Greece and was televised live on New York's Channel 9 and anchored by Greek Americans Ernie Anastos, Nicole Petalidis and Nick Gregory. The Grand Marshals included the Congressional Hellenic Caucus, represented by the caucus chairs, Congress members Carolyn Maloney and Gas Bilirakis. Mr. Dimitris Kastanas, founder and president of NGTV, Dr. William Tennant, noted heart surgeon and brother of George Tennant. The parade co-chairmen and well-regarded businessmen Mr. Philip Christopher and parade chairman emeritus John Katsimatidis welcomed the elite presidential guard of Greece, the iconic ceremonial unit whose unique traditional uniforms include a kilt-like fustanella. The Evzones, known for their proven valor, have become a popular image, especially among visitors. New Greek Consul General Elias Fotopoulos recently arrived in Boston and took over duties. Mr. Fotopoulos will start meeting Greeks of Boston and New England at a party he's organizing for the anniversary of Greek Independence Day on Friday, the 8th of April. This follows the usual celebration for the 25th of March at the Government House of Massachusetts. And now some exciting news from Hollywood. Acclaimed Greek-American actress and producer Rita Wilson will guest star on Law and Order Special Victims Unit, scheduled to air this May. Wilson will guest star as Brie Maslon, the protective mother of a teenager under investigation in the episode titled Delinquent. Wilson recently guest starred on two episodes of CBS's The Good Wife. Her film credits include the Nancy Mayer's comedy It's Complicated and the upcoming Fox Searchlight film Homework, which recently premiered at the Sundance Film Festival. Wilson served as an executive producer on the Universal Studios hit film Mamma Mia and was honored with the Producers Guild of America Visionary Award for the record-breaking box office hit My Big Fat Greek Wedding. 
Moving on to Australia. A record number of Greek Australians are candidates in the upcoming state elections in New South Wales, Australia. The elections will be held on March 20th. The largest number of Greek candidates are running on a ticket with a newly formed party called Fair Land Tax under the leadership of George Karyotis. The FLT is campaigning against high taxation and wasteful government spending. A total of 14 Greek Australians are candidates in the South Australia elections, with eight of them running on the FLT alone. As for the incumbent candidates, Tom Kutsandonis is running in the ALP safe seat of West Torrens. Three Greek Australians are candidates for the Liberal Party, three for the Family First Party, two are standing as independents and two candidates for the Save the Royal Adeline Hospital Party. The polls are suggesting that the race is very tight between the Labour Party and the Liberal Opposition. And now some exciting news from Russia. A special feature in the Russian magazine Elada, which is published in Moscow, was dedicated to the Marbles photo exhibition and its creator, Mr. Apostolos Papapostolou. The above-mentioned magazine is the only printed medium in Russia specialized in topics related to Greece and Cyprus. The article outlines the profile and work of Mr. Papapostolou, who is a professor in the Technological Educational Institution of Athens. Mr. Papapostolou plans to present his unique photo exhibit in the Russian capital in the near future. For more news and updates, don't forget to visit us at GreekReporter.com. Have a wonderful week and remember, Greeks are everywhere!